And here at home, hundreds of people are making sure Pearl Harbor is never forgotten. Two News reporter Dan Perlman was at a special ceremony earlier this morning, and he's here now to tell us what happened. Dan? Well, it was at Tulsa Tech's Riverside campus, and I can tell you by looking around the room, just about everyone in some way was touched. Community leaders, members of the public, and of course, veterans were all on hand. The ceremony began with the color guard bringing in the flags for the armed forces. It included songs and, of course, time for reflection. There was also a chance for everyone to briefly talk about their personal service or how members of the military have had an impact on them. Of course, though, Pearl Harbor was the main backdrop. Here's how one World War II veteran describes that day. Bad. A lot of people will never get over that, and I never have, you know. It was a bad deal. So what else can I say? Tulsa Tech leaders say this is something very important to them, and as long as the school is standing, they say there will always be an annual remembrance. Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.